Hello friends, welcome again. A lot of candidates approach me and say that Sumit sir, we have heard Hadoop is dying. Sumit sir, we have heard Spark is overtaking Hadoop. Then why are you covering Hadoop as part of your curriculum? And even not that, but why should we learn Hadoop from anywhere? Can't we directly learn advanced technologies like Spark and all? So let me first clear this misconception. Number one, it is not right to compare Spark with Hadoop. Hadoop gives you three things. One is HDFS for storage. Second is MapReduce for processing. And third is YARN for resource management. What does Spark give? Spark says, I am just a compute engine. I should not be having my own storage. I am okay to get the storage from anywhere and you can use any resource manager along with me. I am not bundled up with any of these things. So it is unfair to compare Hadoop with Spark. If we have to compare, we can compare MapReduce with Spark, which is a good comparison. And we can truly say that Spark is much ahead in the race. MapReduce is not something which is that commonly used. Now, I understand MapReduce is not that commonly used. HDFS and YARN still has a very major role in the industry. It's not that those things are going away. Many companies are using it. But about MapReduce, let's say MapReduce is not used. Does that mean should we not learn that? I would say it's good to learn. Theoretically, practically you can ignore. Why to learn theoretically this MapReduce? Number one, if you learn MapReduce, all what you understand is how distributed computing works. And this will help you very much when you start learning your Spark. That means if you have learned MapReduce theoretically and you jump to Spark, the learning curve for Spark won't be that high. You can easily learn it because almost the concepts will be in similar manner. But if you're not seeing MapReduce and directly jumping on Spark, then there is no shortcut. You won't understand what's happening internally. And if you have to again make a deep dive, then it's almost redoing what you have learned in MapReduce. So I would say doing MapReduce theoretically is something which will give you a very good understanding on how distributed computing works. And many other ecosystem technologies like Hive, HBase, Poop are very well used in industry today. Hive is very, very important. So you cannot say that you ignore doing the Hadoop part and directly jump onto Spark part. I just want to clear this misconception that you should not directly jump onto advanced technologies. You should have clear cut idea on the fundamentals because that's the key. The thing that differentiates an average engineer with a good engineer is that a good engineer knows about the internals. Average engineer just get the output and becomes happy. Your role should not be that the moment you see the output on the screen, you say that, wow, I have written a program, but how efficient is your program? Do you know what internally happens? Do you know how optimization techniques work? I would say focus on the basics, then only you will be able to get these things right. So Hadoop is important, even though MapReduce is not used. So learning it theoretically and learning other aspects of Hadoop like HDFS, YARN, Hive and so on will really help you in the long run. Please do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you want me to develop any other video, do mention in the comment section. Thanks a lot.